Well, I'm glad to be here and uh, to share a few moments with the kids, uh, the young people of church. Uh, and a question I have for you to think about today is, have you ever gotten to church and the doors were locked? Now, this is a pre-pandemic question, obviously, because I, I go to church a lot nowadays and the doors are almost always locked. But I'm thinking back to before pandemic, when you'd come to church, you ever get here on a Sunday morning and the doors are locked? Uh, that would be a crazy thing. I actually showed up at a church on a Sunday morning, again, pre-pandemic. Uh, I went to what I thought was the front door. Uh, this might have been a Presbyterian church, by the way. Uh, and, and the doors were locked. I couldn't believe it on Sunday morning. And I had to walk around the building and find a door that was unlocked. Uh, and I'm thinking about this today because there's a story in the, in the Gospel of John about Jesus appearing to the disciples on Easter Sunday. <clears throat> They're all gathered in one place. But the doors where they gathered were locked. And I scratched my head on that one. I have to think about that. Why were they gathered behind locked doors? When do we come to church and find the doors locked? And why would we ever think that that's a good idea to lock our doors to the outside world? Well, I serve a church that's actually behind locked doors. I serve a church that, that serves women inside a prison. <clears throat> so every time I go to that church... <clears throat> The doors are locked, not just one door, but lots of doors and gates and, and uh, fences and, and locks are big in a prison, right? Uh, but it's interesting to me to be in a church behind locked doors where hearts are opened. And I've seen women's lives change, women who are in prison uh, and having their lives changed behind those locked doors. Uh, and when Jesus comes on Easter Sunday and appears behind those locked doors, he gives us a message of openness. And he breathes the Holy Spirit on his disciples. And he says, peace be with you. He breathes on them. So take a big breath with me. And he breathes peace to this gathered, fearful group of people behind locked doors. And I think from then on, he sends them out into the world. He opens hearts, he opens minds, uh, and he opens the world to the possibilities of his life, love and his resurrection power for life. Let's pray together. Dear God, we give thanks for Jesus showing up behind locked doors, for breathing your spirit of life into us, for opening our hearts and our minds and even the doors that we lock and hide behind. May we continue to open to your life-giving presence and resurrection power. Amen.